Uh, here we talk about uh, price adjustment strategies. Um, these are different type of uh, price adjustments. Let's say that you have already set up the price and uh, the price is uh, you know, set. And uh, maybe you want to consider uh, those strategies when you uh, want to adjust it. Uh, you may want, let's say if you sell this battery for $100. So now, uh, maybe you want to lower the price, but maybe you don't want to tell that you reduce the price. Uh, or maybe one strategy to adjust it is just, just to do a discount. You know, we're selling our batteries for 20% off. Or maybe buy one, get another battery for free. Uh, so that's what we call discount or allowance. Or maybe allowance is if you uh, buy 10, we give you the, you know, mobile free. Or maybe you buy 10, we give you uh, two of them, you don't pay for them. Um, segmented pricing is when you try to sell your same product, but depending on what segment will buy it, depending on how much money you will sell it. Let's say, for example, if you have this extra battery, if it's a mobile phone, then maybe it will be $400. But maybe if it's a kid's iPod, maybe it will be for you know 60 because the kids, maybe their purchasing power is not as much as people who have phones. If it's a laptop, maybe it's a business laptop, then maybe it will be for 150 Do you see? So that's when you start to sell your same product, depending on what segment you're selling, different. Uh, psychological pricing is when you sell for $99. You remember $99? Mm -hmm. Which one is less expensive, 99 or 100 100 100. Some people think they are the same, but from a customer perception, when you look at the 99, you don't feel you're in the $100 range. Do you see? Yeah. Remember, if you go and you want to buy a dress, how much you spend for, let's say if your cousin is going to get married and you want to buy this nice suit, or your cousin, you need to buy this nice dress, how much you spend for that dress? 3000 $3,000. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you go with this 3000 what about 3,500? It's okay. Too much. <laughs> Is it too much? <laughs> Let's say, what about 3,400? Yeah, too much to spend. What about, what about uh, 3,000, what about 3,200? Yeah, 200. 200 is okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about 3,300? A problem. It's a problem, you see. But if I tell you 3,299, you're still in the 200, you're okay. Do you see? But once you reach the three, that's when you stop. So there's always, if you think about it, you know, people start in their mind kind of do budgeting. So you say, okay, I will buy $200. 250, okay. 270, okay. It's great, 299. 300, no. So the 300 will become the no. So the 299, there we're still on that 200 range. And then depending, sometimes some people are more sensitive, they go to, you know, they want, you know, the 260, 269 um, is okay, but 270 is not, you know, like uh, our friend Fadli. <laughs> and uh, so the psychological pricing is, uh, when you kind of think about the psychology of people. But, uh, sorry, is it important to include this wild world price in any product to put it in this? Well, it's basically, remember what, uh, what is it, Maximum Telecom, they did this, get a mobile phone for 444. And they have another uh, mobile for 666. Yeah. You see, and people think, oh, this is fun. So in it, some way, it's where people's psychology take into consideration this whole pricing game, do you see? Uh, and then we have a promotional pricing. And uh, promotional pricing happens when you, uh, uh, when you have this special promotion. You know, uh, you know we're having this uh, special sale, uh, or maybe it's... Uh, holiday season also and, new, new products, uh, new. we got this new product promotion and then that's when you put a special price or a special package geographical pricing when we talk about uh, you sell uh, in different uh, you know uh, how uh, distance and transportation takes into account so geographical pricing is uh, we'll talk more about these in the slide Dynamic pricing, when the price changes depending on available information. We'll talk also about it when we reach the slide. And then international pricing is when you uh, sell 
in different countries depending on the different economies or different social status or different local cultural perceptions, issues like that. Are you guys okay with these? Uh, let's get, uh, we'll go through, uh, we'll go through each one of these. Uh, if we talk about discount and allowance pricing, that's when you reduce uh, your uh, prices towards the customer uh, responses, such as paying early or promoting the product. So that's discount and uh, allowance. Um, next, we have here the segmented pricing. Here they have the example of Evian water. Do you guys know what's Evian water? It's just the water. But when they sell water for people to drink, they sell it completely different than when they sell the water in spray. Yeah, anyone have tried this? Some people, they take this, you know, moisturizer. Uh, they it's the same Evian water. It's just in a spray. And then you can Not see like this is like $25 water spray, and this is $1. Not like this? No. No, just uh, spray. It's you spray your face to keep it uh, moisture. Is that, you know, this water segment for people to drink? And uh, those people, the people who want to do, uh, to be sprayed with water, is a co completely different segment. Do you see? Completely different market segment. And uh, here, you're both cases, you're selling water, but here water for spray is different than water for drink. Yeah. And uh, in terms of cost, they both cost you maybe very similar, but in terms of pricing, you do a completely different pricing strategy. Don't to take another choice because this have a segment. It's just a segment. Uh, just the segment uh, are willing to pay twenty five dollars to get the spray. Maybe do you see? Uh, let's take maybe take another example. If you think about uh, you know uh, Baskin Robbins, they sell their ice cream. Uh, if it comes in the supermarket, you can get this one uh, cup of uh, ice cream for two hundred riyal. If you go to their Baskin Robbins office, you get it for 350. If you take Baskin Robbins inside the hotel, it will be for 560. If you take it inside the airport, maybe 2,000 riyal. Do you see? So what you know? Those people are travelers. Those people are taking vacation. Those people are shopping. Those people are, you know, uh, specialty. Do you see? So that's how you do the segmented. And uh, let's see. For the segmented pricing to be effective, it says a market must be segmentable, segments must show different degrees of demand, watching the market cannot exceed the extra revenue obtained from the price differences, and has to be legal. You know, you can't uh, do segmented uh, pricing that becomes illegal. For example, if someone comes to you with, a with uh, blue eyes, you sell it to them for 200. Someone comes to you with, uh, you know, uh, green eyes, you sell it for them for 2,000. <laughs> we're, we're talking about you don't want to discriminate based on people's color of skin or color of eyes. Is it necessary yeah. to have this kind of legal? For example, it's in, in my interest and the interest of my company that I give this particular customer special price. Yeah. This That's true. Be, see, sometimes it, it has to be legal, and when it comes to a legal, there is a there is a law called the there's the uh, the uh, patriotic uh, law uh, that talks about uh, um, talks about that you have to deal with all of your customers with the same basis. You can't discriminate because remember in the U in the U S when they used to have uh, some buses for black and some buses for white. Yeah. And then the black, they sit, and the white, they don't sit on the chair. So this was a source of a big uh, social uh, breakdown. And uh, the government decided, let's stop this. And they put laws against that. So now, if you're going to do the same thing, uh, and it's uh, big discrimination against people because of their, uh, you know, you know, their... Uh, Whatever, you know, uh, sex, religion, uh, you know, where they come from or what they believe or what they... So then it becomes illegal. But if there is some other uh, reasons, then it can be uh, legal. Okay. So the example that's in the picture, it's different than the other 
the water. The water. 